Hi, I'm Richard from Silent Peak, and today I'm having a quick look at Luminar Neo and its preset system. Now here we are on the catalog view. I'm going to select this photo and click on edit. And then I'm going to move over here and select presets. Now much like Luminar AI, it selects the preset that it thinks will best suit your video. But of course you can choose any preset you like. So if we click on the scenery tab and we're offered six separate presets to choose a preset we simply click on the one that we want to have a look at and we can just move down the list until we find one that we like the look of now i think i quite like the top one now, if you find that you've got a preset, but it's coming on a little bit strong, you do have the option to slide away the effects. So for example, by grabbing this slider and moving it to the left, you can see the effect of the preset is diminished until eventually it disappears completely. And then by moving it along the other way, I can bring in the effect once again. There are many different presets. So this is the scenery collection. But if I go back to here, We've got various different ones, easy landscapes, artistic scenery, uh, but we have all kinds of things from sunsets to waterscapes and to portraits and macro. As you can see, a very generous portion of uh, presets. If it isn't generous enough, you do have the option to purchase new ones. If we click onto the ad here, that will take us to Skylum's website and we can browse the various different presets on offer. What you cannot do uh, as a bit of a surprise is that you cannot save the sum of your own edit as a preset. What I mean by that is if you decide to manually edit your own photo and you end up with some results you're quite proud of and wish to reply to future edits to different photos, you are unable to save your adjustments into a preset to be used at a later date. This is a huge disadvantage to those of you who might want to do a lot of your own adjustments, since it will mean that you're effectively having to reapply your work over and over again. Given that Luminar Neo is uh, intended to enthusiast editors, this omission is somewhat of a surprise, uh, especially when you consider the sort of casual orientated Luminar AI, it does give you a feat function to save your adjustments as templates for later use. But if you are simply looking for the quickest route to a nice, well-processed photo, there's an awful lot to like about Luminar Neo's presets. They do give you exactly what you want, and it is only a click away. It's fast, it's responsive, and requires very little skill. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. If you'd like to know more about Luminar Neo, please drop by the website, link in the description below. I will see you there at some point, hopefully. But until then, I hope you have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.